we thought it would be nice to, to do a little bit of something special for him um, to, to just celebrate that and celebrate the work that's been done. So I'm going to pass you over to Sarah, who's, uh, who's with the, with the programme, with the university programme. She's going to speak on behalf of the students. Um, hello everyone, uh, excuse my voice, it's been a very hectic week, a lot of cheering, a lot of singing, um, I've loved it all. Um, it was 2014, 10 years of Boss Bobby, and in 2014 years, 10 years isn't that much, but in the past 10 years, Boss Bobby has done so much in the communities in South Africa, in Uganda, and back home in Nottingham. Um, and don't worry, I'm not going to go on forever, but I've just got a few little statistics for you and some facts. In the past 10 years, 283 students from Nottingham, Loughborough, Sheffield, and Leeds have come through in South Africa and Uganda. 55,000 Ugandans and South Africans have been reached directly through this program. 23,000 Nottingham pupils have been um, coached as well back in England and we've reached 43 townships in South Africa and I'm pretty sure that most people in South Africa don't really get to see maybe five max if that townships in their lives. We've also been given 2,115 footballs this year in South Africa and for two weeks I think that's a lot of footballs and in the two weeks in South Africa we've reached 10,000 children across South Africa in the townships that we reach. Um, on the next bit. Um, Joe really hates it when people overcomplicate what he's done um, with Boss Bobby and I think it is a, a really good point. It was 10 years ago in South Africa he saw a group of kids playing with um, a ball that was made out of rags and it could have been socks, rot old clothes and he bought them a new football and it was that simple, that one ball and that one moment. Um, and it's just so simple how easily we can affect people's lives. And throughout this past week, I sort of gave myself my own quote that was, even the smallest pebble can make the biggest ripples in a lake if they're with enough power and energy. Um, and I think that's really spoken to me this week because of Sarge's enthusiasm for what we call the ripple effect of coming into your townships, your communities, and coaching your coaches to do the work that we can't do living back in England. Um, and I just think that Sarge is so underappreciated. We, all, we always thank um, the staff that help out, Julie, who's back in England at the moment, you guys out here, Booby, the staff that we have in Uganda. Because um, it's 10 years, I think it's really time we need to appreciate the one reason why us guys from England are here why you guys are here and why we've reached 10,000 kids in the past two weeks. So, Joe, come up, please. And we have a massive round of applause for you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Coaches next year in different countries 